morning, everyone. Good morning. When Pastor Michael asked me to explain my vision of what the future church looks like, I instantly knew I was in for trouble. My favorite part from Mark 10, 35 to 45 is verse 45. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life, a ransom for many. Think back to when you're standing in my shoes, and your parents, or teacher, or any other adult would explain their view on your own generation. And I could probably guess there are more negatives than positives. Beliefs of this kind were even around from the parents of the greatest generation. Well, those negative thoughts haven't changed a whole lot since then. And that's where I want to start. Change. Today's society is based off of efficient improvement of human experience. It's the definition of technology. It's what technology does. Technology makes your life easier, and we as a, as a society have adopted that mindset. And once you have a taste of that easy, it's all you want. But church isn't easy. It isn't easy to come to church and explain yourself to God, your pastor, or peers. Jesus requires you to take up your cross. To people with this new easy mentality, why do something that's hard when you don't have to do it? I have to convince myself at times to do the right choice rather than the easy one, and I can see myself making those decisions for the rest of my life. This is where I think the church may have gotten a bit lost in keeping its youth. A lot of youth today have this new easy mentality. It's been branded in our minds from new iPhones to other technology, we are witness to this rapid fire change. But the church has noticed the problem from the amount of church youth activity groups, but not just in Frankfurt, but everywhere in the country. Current statistics say 80% of all active youth members will not attend church after college. And I think that will require the church to move much more quickly to supply the demand of making church appeal. It's going to take more than just reading the Bible and singing to get people to want to come to church. The church needs to inspire the next generation to do work that Christ has set before us. I also see a much more tolerant church with different races praising together. I was not there when Martin Luther King Jr. or other activists helped achieve tolerance in the race, but I do know the positive outcome. I would like to think that my generation, that racism is a thing of the past, but some do pull on the old roots. All in all, I see a better society. It creates a sense of unity for the country, and I can see that same sense of unity for the church. There is a large Hispanic, I can see a large Hispanic community coming to church. Frankfurt is a perfect example of that large Hispanic community, and though I don't see much intolerance, I also don't see much interaction. Frankfurt High School is now 33% Hispanic, and many of my friends are, but almost none of them go, almost none of them go to church. I try to invite them to come, but the problem is I'm feeling uncomfortable. And I see that uncomfortable feeling as well in the future. Then, as a closer church community, social networking rules the world with the sun. And more people show up to church functions because social networking makes events easier to organize and execute. This opportunity has opened the door to the church. Now the church does not just have to call you, but can go to Twitter, Facebook, or any other social network and can, can, and can communicate directly with you. Some of the only ways that my friends and I can get together is through social networking, and I can see the church using the same technique. I see struggles in the future of the church, but like in the past, they will only make us stronger. And after that struggle, we will be presented with the fruits of our labor, and we can be happy for what we've done. The struggles, of the, church, the struggles that churches are dealing with now are astronomical. These problems are not in my hands right now, though, but the result will affect me in the future. I find hope because of the technology beliefs that my generation and the younger ones will have to change the world. The future of the church is based solely on of the decisions made right now. Good habits made now will affect the church in the future. And though I see a bright future for the church, it will not be easy. If every member of the Christian community makes an example of themselves to younger members, it will only help those younger members make the right choice. But with all this change, it makes everything uncertain. But only one thing is certain. Jesus loves us all. He loves us in spite of our flaws. He loves our opinions, sometimes not our choices. 
but the unconditionally loves us. And that is why I know the church will be alright in the future, because love is a constant. If the church reflects off of what Jesus really is, the only conclusion is success. Thank you.